Hi guys, how you all doing? What we're going to talk about today is a meat injector, flavour injector. Okay, now if you do barbecues or even a roast at home, normally what you try and do is you actually try and marinate the outside of the meat. But as you know, uh, it, okay, it tastes great from the outside, but inside generally there's not much flavour, especially in chicken. The skin, and the meat act as a barrier so basically what's happening is that when you put your dry marinade on the outside or even a wet marinade in a bag and you seal it up and marinate it for a couple of hours the marinade only goes over the surface or a little bit inside it doesn't actually go all the way inside it doesn't get down to the bone level or anywhere okay so the idea of a meat injector or flavor injector is fantastic it should be in everybody's or every chef's arsenal or if you're um, doing barbecues on a regular basis or a joint of meat, a meat injector, flavor injector is a must. Okay, now I ordered one off the internet. It's not a name brand, it's obviously a copy of a name brand, uh, but it is a very good copy. In fact, you can't even tell the difference. It's stainless steel, exactly the same as everything else. But it, didn't come with any instructions. Um, now, fortunately, I've used one before, so I actually um, have some knowledge about this, but I thought if anybody else orders from the internet and they got no instructions, this might help you. Okay, so basically for our meat injector, our flavor injector, we have a, a, a canister here, which will actually hold the fluid to be injected. Uh, it's got a screw thread and screw thread at this end. Now, when you first get your injector, or you first open the injector, they have these plastic O-rings around the outside. Now, these have to be oiled, okay? So you actually just put it in a little bit of oil, rub a bit of oil around, and it makes it easier um, when you are using it inside your chamber as a plunger. Okay, now if it wasn't oiled and you were trying to plunge down the fluid, it would get stuck. Okay, so it's a must. When you get your meat injector, oil the O-ring and oil the O-rings on the end of the screw thread for the needles. Okay, and what happens is you get a pack of O-rings as well, which is a, a very good idea because these O-rings, they probably only last 12 months, okay? So there's spare O-rings for the needles and the plunger. Also in this kit, a couple of brushes for cleaning. Just straight in the end, do 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 clean it out. Simple. Right, back to the meat injector. The meat injector comes with a series of needles. Now these three needles are exactly the same actually. So we could just talk about the three needles, the three main needles, okay? Now with these needles, so this is the three main needles, okay? One needle has a series of holes all the way around it. There's about 12 holes there, okay? Now this needle, is used for your bigger joints of meat like a pork loin or a beef joint where you want to put marinade all over okay so you would use this needle it has more holes which will distribute the flavor or marinade inside more evenly 
Now, this needle has a large hole in the end. Now people say, oh, you use it for jam. Yeah, you can use it for jam and sweets and things like that, okay? You can inject it in. But really, the needle with the large hole is actually for thicker marinades. Um, if you have uh, ground up pepper in there or garlic or an oil, it makes it easier to distribute out of the end because it's a larger hole than the small holes. So if you have like a chunky marinade or a chunky flavor that you need to pump into your meat, this is the needle to use. It will actually pump out larger particles in your marinade easier than the needle with all the holes in. Okay? And the small needle has two holes, one on either side. Uh, now this is used for steak and chicken. So basically, the small needle is for a smaller thickness of meat, and obviously the large needle with all the holes is for a thicker joint of meat where you would want to put in more marinade evenly spaced all around. So that is our three needles. Okay? Now to put it all together, it's simple. You have a plunger system, okay, with the O-ring round. Oil the O-ring. I've already oiled it. Oil the O-ring. In your chamber, push it in, okay? And then screw the top on. So just screw the top on nice and gently. Try not to cross thread it. He says, screw it on nice and gently. Okay, so that is our injector put together. Okay, so you have your plunger, which is obviously going to suck your fluid in, and your finger holes to actually hold your injector. Now, these are all screw threads, and it just screws on. It's as simple as that. So easy. Okay? Now this locks. So when you draw in your fluid, if you draw it in a little bit, you can lock it off. Okay? And the fluid's locked inside. Now very easy to use. So I'll just suck up some water and show you how it all disperses out of the end. But it's common sense. All the holes send it all out like a sprinkler system the one with the large hole is going to send it all out in one direction and these small needles your steak and chicken uh, needle will send it out from both sides so that's basically our meat injector so normally you would inject about 10 percent of the weight of your meat so for argument's sake if it's 100 grams, you would inject 10 grams. And then you'll try and disperse it all around in your meat. So this meat injector is essential, really, for delivering the flavors inside your meat. If not, the outside of the meat has the flavor and the marinade and there's nothing inside, as we all know. Now, for chicken breast and things like that, these are absolutely fantastic because it actually um, delivers the fluid and moisture inside the breast so you can squeeze it in and the breast pumps up with the fluid inside you end up with a moist tender chicken breast even if you roast it dry the inside will still stay succulent and moist it is one of the most underrated tools that everybody should have in the kitchen. Simple to use, but the results of your finished roast meat or steak, incredible. Keeps everything moist inside and it puts the flavor inside the meat. Absolutely fantastic. Now, what you need to do when you're marinating your meat, you have to um, 
remember to use either a chicken stock or a beef stock or a pork stock okay now if you're marinating a chicken you do not want to be using a beef stock and injecting a beef stock into a chicken inject chicken stock but you need to use the stock as a basic foundation to carry your flavor so if you're using uh, if, you, if you want to marinate a chicken and you put chicken stock mix it up with water and then you add your flavor like a little bit of butter or garlic or a few herbs whatever whatever the flavor that you like um, even chili oil okay but always have the chicken stock as the basis to carry your flavor now if you're doing uh, a joint of beef use beef stock uh, with your flavorings black peppers or whatever you want to put in to carry your flavor into the meat don't use chicken stock for beef i.e. don't use beef stock for pork or pork stock for chicken use the stock even if it's a stock cube mixed up okay or powder mix it up it gives you the basic flavor carrier to inject into your meat so I hope that helps guys and what we'll do I'll just show you briefly how to suck up the fluid and then hopefully if you decide that you want to buy a meat injector it would certainly enhance your cooking especially on a barbecue or grill or even if you're oven cooking because it's delivering the moisture and flavor inside the meat and not just on the outside so I hope this helps guys uh, don't forget like and subscribe and we'll see you next time